Hey everyone, this is Al Calvin, my next two, and last time we destroyed a poor desert runner. Now naturally, if you got something that goes real fast, you might want to look out someone who's real slow. And I mean a tortoise and a hare does make it clear who wins in that mathematical equation. Mathematical, there we go. I like that guy, he has he has a mustache, crystal snail, he's like an old man. Living in a shell. And then it's not this beautiful ice background that has been seen in the ROM hag there here and there actually, which is kinda of funky town. What reuse anime graphics? Is this here that there's some Wow, you cannot go against Whoa. Yeah, I think there's something here, right? Yeah there is! Check out this robot. It has jets, it has spike hands. It's wonderful. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe it's doable. I think I'm just. I think if I do jump from the very, very, very edge, I think I might be able to get it. Ah! I didn't. Yeah, dude, you could sub a doob doob. Well, that, that just. Dude, come on. I did it! I knew it was physically possible! Yeah! Then we get to ride this funny little platform with an arrow on it. And I'm like, wanna go my way, Mr. God? And I'm like, heck yeah. Well, Alright, can we go around now. Okay, so, there we go, I did it! I got a heart! And then we get a new one, because this whole level is basically based around playing around with this thing. Whoops. Whoops! Uh, yeah, see, so you break stuff, it's incredible, but then I got this thing, you can charge it too, which is great, it's like, ah, I'm making them punch! Alright, so you see that thing? What you gotta do is go, hey, Mr. Crystal, wanna be my friend? No, alright, well, thank you for making way for my real, actual friend, that's right, you were manipulated. How you feel about that? You can go there, you can go there, you can punch this thing, it's like, nuts you, man. Ah! Look at Mega Man just wiggling that joystick. Ah, oh, incredible. I have found a new reason to drink milk. Because it's good and gives you calcium, which is an important part of the complete breakfast experience. And thanks to this, I can now get this one up. I got rewarded for my effort. Oh boy, it's mid boss time! It's the fashion of crystal! And it throws bouncy things around. Have fun. I actually like the touch there, like with its weird little friend. Like it's very complex. Kinda. Because it's just got it's like this, you know, this roving unit. And there's projectiles everywhere. Now there's two of them. And now there's none of them. And now the thing is still bouncing around though. It hasn't stopped. Oh, I'm being pursued. Oh, there's a hilt up there. Come on. <laughs> and there's something here that I just remember. Just kind of go in holes, but unlike Luigi's Adventure, you can like climb up the hole if you want it. My first upgrade! Oh boy! It's the first uh, Dr. Light. How's it going? You got even more. Oh, his music here is super good. Mega Manix, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar option. Does that mean, like, actually add a radar? Uh, I never had a radar voucher to start with, Mr. Light! Well, it's the object you could not see. This is not exactly accurate. Like, okay, let, let me show you what this is. It's a big, goofy, spiky helmet. You know, helmet only. No caviars. It's like, if you use, like, it gives you a thing, and then it goes, Whoa, check it, there's a weird thing here. So basically, you can be used to find hidden stuff, so in other words, uh, it's just an excuse for the developer to put hidden walls and stuff in places. Pretty great gameplay edition. And now I look like a weird, like, Sonic the Hedgehog fan character, have breed kind of thing, and it's pretty weird. Check out this sweet empty room. These have a reason for being. But, uh, they involve a boss weapon that I do not have 
naturally. Mmm, all these weird, suspicious, icy alcohol. I wonder if that means anything. I don't know, I... Did you shoot them? No, it's proximity. Then they get real excited, and I'm like, well, I'm real excited to go up this ladder, so you know what? It's all the same. You are dead. How does it feel? To be unalive by the will of the cosmos. Actually, that'd be real depressing if you learned that the will of the Crossbow. The cosm exists in itself. It's like, man, I don't know. I think you should be dead, probably. Just don't take it personally or anything. It's just my opinion. That's some people's opinion. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what. Oh well, we're gonna fight a boss. We got three lives. I might not make it. <laughs> this boss isn't exactly easy, and I kind of forgot his pattern. But he does a pretty funny noise when he's swinging around the shell. Also, his animation is super long. But he's got lightning between his antennae, but because he's a snail, like that should be his eyes. So that's weird. Uh, how do you I fight you if you hide all the time? Dang it, that counted! You're like way better than Armadillo at being an Armadillo, friend. And see he's got jiggly beans. Like, you need to shoot him while he's doing something. Like that. Like, see, and then like, oh no! Ah! It's Arbor Penguin! <laughs> Festival at large! Uh, then he does like way crazy things. Like, ah no! It's Marmillo Man! What am I going to do? Fictional invention! Man, I'm just gonna tank them all. That's my new strategy. You, know, you just press all the buttons, and at some point, you get out. And you're losing a lot of speed there. Dang it! I... Timing was wrong. I did it! I got hit by his things! See, I, I felt like I had to demo the whole ice animation that happens. So that's why I got... I let myself get hurt there. Uh, please thank me later. In the Batcave. If you think it's important. So, yeah, this battle is going... Pretty fast. Snails are known for their excess locomotion. Just notice that the whoa, the background's flashing like colors and stuff. You like pretty colors and you're a snail. Well, you might be Crystal Snail. That's wow, quite a commercial jingle. <laughs> uh, gotta double tap that button so I can you know dash while holding button. Nah, I can. Ah! Every time you miss. He grows a new toenail! Oh no! Yeah, this fight is a... is a long and protracted fight. <laughs> like, there's fun stuff you can do with uh, his weakness. Dang it! <laughs> All this time! <laughs> Just for that to happen! Oh no! <laughs> well... This is- now I have, like, twice as much health as I had, so this is all a very extended- I mean, I guess, you know, in a meta sense, it makes sense that this fight would take a while, because, you know, snow is known to melt in the ice. But the snails are known for their rapid method of locomotion. Although a real snail only have one feet that is pretty big. This guy has, like, legs and stuff. Like, it is a fully anthropomorphized animal here. Why am I playing so badly suddenly? I played way better the first time! Like, look at all this help I lost for absolutely no reason. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. Like, so bad. Whoa, you just stopped in midair. Why do you do that? Whoa, I'm surprised I lived. Well, okay, maybe saying live there. I mean, of course, but I'm surprised I didn't take damage. Uh, this is an awkward spot for you to hang out. Still awkward. S awkward steel! Uh, it's very powerful metal used in social engineering. Um. Uh, yeah, 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 Whoa. look at that clown! 
I'm not getting hit on purpose by his frosty attack. Like, I'm, it's just that I'm doing a very, very bad job at anticipating Argon has. Hey, hey, you were almost turned around. I guess you're gonna go to the wall. Then you have to, uh, buttons. I'm pressing buttons, it's what I do. I also put on a show about loves gaining sentience and fame. Oh no! It's his superpower! Yo, Ripples! Slows down time and makes a din. And later on, he'll throw a sink. That's why he has electrode power, because time is of the electrical element. Everyone knows that. Uh, Shuramu! Save me! Also, you're just kinda, kinda chilling there. Man! What? Why did I jump so early? Why did I do that? I'm getting impatient because it's taking like five hours. Does he just start his thing once it freezes you? So if he, nev if he never freezes you, does he never stop this? Or like, unless he blocks the shot, too. Not sure. Okay, so maybe... Ah. Oh, see, there I didn't got hit. So you can interrupt his his dream machine? That's hilarious. I didn't wasn't aware you could break your pattern like this. <laughs> oh man, today I learned a thing. Yeah, you can totally break once because once at a point he's always gonna try to the world it up. And you can totally break that if your aim is good. Oh please don't. Okay. I was a little bit worried there. Just a bit, just a hint. Just a tad. Just a pinch. Yeah, dude, it isn't as hard as aren't him. These guys blow up for a while. I was I was I was a little bit worried. I'm gonna be a, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit worrisome, you know, just a, just a crunch. Just a smidge. Uh, I I'm running out of Thesaurus words, so you know what? Check out or now instead of being the blue bomber, I'm the blue bomber! Yeah, you throw a thing, and enemies get caught in a crystal, and they get crystallized. Uh, you'll never guess what's the secret weapon base charge thing. Now we get another tut scene. I see a white sigma fell out of the hands of Mega Man X! It is quite formidable! That is true. Formidable is the number one adjective I would use to describe Mega Man X and his goofy looking hat. Welcome to Team Fortress, buddy! Now run on this threadmill and power our hamsters! 
don't pronounce the age. Then we get to see Dr. Kane, who's carrying a cane. Wow! Dr. Kane, what happened to Dr. Kane? It's Dr. Kane. A group of Dr. Kane calling themselves the Dr. Kanes. Just Dr. Kane contacted Dr. Kane to say, Dr. Kane, how's it going? Greetings, Dr. Kane. We have all of Dr. Kane's parts. Oh, no! They can be yours on the price is right! Uh, I like how everyone takes the time to, you know, to, to say they're part of the message. The X-Hunters, they're just, just kind of goofy little, friendly little enemy team. Anyways, there's a chip somewhere, so you have to go to the supermarket. You gotta go to the eight powerful supermarkets and get their chips. That's not true. You get the chips from defeating the X Hunters. Uh, what's up with the X Hunters, you say? At any cost, get that credit card. Basically, look what's happening here. Zappo, Wappo, and Flappo. Now, if you go on any of these stages, you can access a special room where you can fight the X Hunter. And if you do, you get a chip. If you get all three, uh, basically it changes the ending. I'm gonna try and go for that, but honestly, there are rooms where I will literally do not have access, so I might not follow a strict boss reversal order, depending on if there's a guy on where I need to go, and if I can get there when I need to go. Anyways, what destroys a snail? Like, I don't know, like, snails are pretty darn low. Uh, the pecking order in terms of the family tree, so really at this point, it's just RNG.